Hello and welcome to Vived Science for ZSpace. This is the basic tutorial one. This is Tom Nicknish, president of Vived. And yes, we did recently change our name. This is short for Vivid Education or VivEd, formerly Cyber Science 3D, where we continue to bring learning to life every day for students of all ages around the world by using the latest 3D and virtual reality technologies to help improve student outcome. Today, we're gonna to cover a few different areas around the menu options. Um, there's, this is the home menu that I'm in right here. I can discuss the differences of open versus new. And then I'm gonna go ahead and walk through opening a new session, talk through some of the controls related to the stylus, the labeling, uh, call outs, landmarks, and then we'll go through opening a session as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Basically, the, the difference here between a new session and an open session is from the new session, you'll be able to choose from a library of models, where in open session, you'll be choosing from pre-created sessions that are available to you. So let's go ahead and go into new session here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select the AC motor, but you can see that there's obviously a lot of different models available here. I think over 251. So let's collect, click on AC motor. You'll be able to see the different labels available here. So if I hover over an individual object, you can see this is the cover, uh, the cap, the shaft, and so on. And the basic functionality here related to the stylus is that I can left click to pick up the object. I can right click to zoom in and zoom out on an object. And then if I hover over an area and I use the front stylus button, I can pick that object up and look at it from all 3D perspectives. If I want to go ahead and replace that object, you can see where it came from based on the colorization there. It's purple. And as I get closer to it, it should turn green. And then I'd be able to snap that back in place. Another way to return an object to its original spot is to double click on that object. So I go ahead and double click. And you can see here that I'm currently in the move button mode versus the call out. So if I want to add a call out, I can go ahead and click on the call outs button. And this will just put a permanent label to any of the objects that are in the scene. And if I want to click on the background, I can create my own note. So I can add in information around the entire session. Okay, so that covers a lot of some of the basics. Again, uh, left click allows me to pick up the uh, entire object or, or, or model. Um, if I hover over an individual area, I can move independent objects within the scene. And one area that I'd like to cover really quick here is to be able to add a landmark. Let's say on this particular um, uh, part that there's some information I want to add. I can add that here. And then it, you'll be able to see if I hover over that, there's information that, that's associated with that. So that's pretty cool. And we can go ahead and switch back to the home menu or table of contents. And I'm going to show you just super quick about opening a session. So I've got some sessions that are already saved on my machine here. And I'm going to go ahead and select one of those just so you can see how that's different. You'll, what you'll notice here is this particular session contains some information that was created by an author. And we'll go into that in my next tutorial covering authoring versus viewing. Thank you so much.